All right, guys, we're back here in the gym. Today we are talking about deadlifts. Um, and today's topic is about balance uh, over the bar. Now, this is a really important topic for both sumo and conventional, which is why I'm covering it. So one of the uh, issues that a lot of people have when they're deadlifting is that they tend to be too far forward or too far over the bar. Uh, and what this kind of looks like is the shoulders are in front of the bar if you're looking at uh, the lift from the side. And the observation is that, like, oh, your shoulders are a bit far forward. You need to get your shoulders back. So then the lifter, as a response to that, tries to get the shoulders back, right? They try and do this. But that's not the issue. It's not that the shoulders themselves are in the wrong position. It's that the entire torso, the entire body is in the wrong position. If you've seen my video on uh, my favorite deadlift cue, you'll know that pulling the shoulders back like this is counterproductive. It's not what we want to be achieving. So the view from the side is, like I said, shoulders are forward of the bar. And then as the bar breaks the floor, because the shoulders are in front, the bar naturally wants to hang underneath the shoulders and the bar gets dragged forward. So the bar gets pulled forward, the lifter gets dragged forward, and the loading through the back, the loading through the uh, erectors and hamstrings and glutes increases uh, significantly, making the lift really, really difficult to break from the floor in the first place. And even if you do break the floor, it's a grinder throughout the lift. So the solution to this is understanding that we need to shift the body weight back. This is something that a lot of people have trouble with, shifting the body weight back. They end up squatting or bending the knees or sitting down more. Rather, the shift has to come from the ankles. Uh, so what that looks like is like this, is the shift needs to be like this. And you'll see that what I'm doing here is I'm shifting forward and shifting back while I'm keeping my torso rigid, right? The shift is from my ankles. All right, and I'm about to tip forward. That's really different to doing this. Although my shoulders have still gone forward, I've just bent at the hips. That's not shifting forward. My balance is in the same spot. My balance is still over my feet. So it's really important that we lean back. This is even more so important when we're doing the sumo deadlift. Because in the sumo deadlift, you have less balance forward and backwards because your feet are turned out. If you get the balance correct, and if you're able to put your body weight behind the bar, what you end up doing is you end up levering the bar off the ground. Kind of like when a, you've got a deadlift jack that picks up the bar for you, you almost get the same effect. You get 70, 80, 90 kilos of your own body weight to actually lever the bar off the floor. And that lifting of the bar ends up being quite passive. And it's a really, really powerful technique they can use to help generate speed off the floor, uh, especially in your sumo deadlift. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at what that looks like now. So come over here and we're gonna be over at the bar. So you might wanna jump on this side. And here I've got a bar loaded with 60 kilos. And what you're gonna see, as I said, is that some lifters are gonna be set up like this, right? They, they're standing in the right position. They've got their feet in the right position. They're standing here over the bar, but what they do is they end up over the bar too far and the shoulders end up forward of the bar. So it looks like this. So you can see here that my shoulders are in front of the bar and that when I lift the weight, the weight wants to hang under my shoulders. So it gets dragged forward. Right, this is not a good place to be lifting from. So what uh, the coach says is, you know, your shoulders are too far in front of the bar, get back. So they either do this, all right, they end up trying to retract the shoulders, which is counterproductive, or they end up doing this, right? And you can see what's happening here is that my knees are just flexing, which is simply pushing the bar forward. And again, if you've seen my video on why sumo is better than conventional, you'll know that flexing of your shins, or flexing of your knees, sorry, pushing your shins forward, isn't very productive either. So what we need to do, like I demonstrated before, is that we need to shift the body weight back. And that shifting occurs at the ankle joint. Okay, so what that looks like is this, and it's very subtle. Rather than, th rather than lifting from here, which is forward of the bar, we shift the body weight back, and now we're over here. What you'll notice is that my arms are upright and my shoulders are directly in over the bar and my body weight is behind the bar. And you can see that I'm not even trying, but the weight wants to come off the ground. Now, I'm not suggesting that you start forward of the bar deliberately and then rock back. That is a technique that some lifters use and I've taught a few of my lifters to do that. That they start where they normally start and then kind of get, gather some momentum by rocking back and lifting. It's not something I'm suggesting. But what I'm saying is that you need to be able to find that position from the uh, in the first place and lift from that position. So we'll take a look at a couple of reps now. 
So you'll see that from the very beginning, I'm able to find this position here, where I'm behind the bar. I'm not forward or over the bar too much, I'm shifting my weight back. And what you'll see as well is the bar actually rolls backwards. So the bar's there, I shift my body weight back, my shins come back, but the bar rolls. Really important to get the body weight behind the bar. Okay, so we're back, we've got two plates on the bar. Now I'm gonna show you the same thing sumo. This is, like I said before, even more important with the sumo, we need the body weight to be back behind the bar. All right, so it looks like this. So what you'll see is, incorrectly, a lot of lifters will do this. All right, and they try and lift the weight from here. And you'll see that from here, I'm over the bar. And it looks like this. Rather than being here, we need to be back behind the bar. All right, it looks like this. Okay, it's really important to note that when I'm doing that, I'm not actually sitting my hips down. Okay, so if you look from here, what you'll see is that as I shift my body weight back, all right, you'll see that I'm here. As I shift my body weight back, I'm not sitting down. So this is where most people would start. And then to get into the right position, I shift back and I'm now here. It's not doing this. That's just sitting your hips down and is not shifting of the body weight. The body weight's here. Back. And I often fall backwards when the weight's not very heavy. So what's gonna happen is that when the weight's heavier, it counteracts, it uh, acts like a balancing tool. So the weight will actually hold me forward. If you don't do this, when the weight is heavy enough, it'll actually drag you forward and you lose balance when you're deadlift. So it's important that we shift our body weight so that our shoulders are in line with the bar and our body weight is behind the bar. Hold on, let me just put that away. All right guys, that's the video for today. So it's about your body weight. Have a go at trying to get better at shifting your body weight over the bar or relative to the bar. Um, it can be a really useful tool if you're having trouble breaking the bar off the floor, especially in the sumo, or if you have trouble generating speed off the floor. Make sure that your body weight's in the right spot and that you're not too far forward of the bar. Um, one real quick tip before I let you go to help you kind of feel this out is literally to do what I did before. Stand upright, grab onto something for balance and shift your body weight back and forth. So something as simple as doing this, standing here and just shifting forward and catching yourself here and making sure that you're actually not shifting your torso. It's just this, it's the shifting forward and back. And then trying to do that bent over. The hard thing is, like I said, that when you're bent over, sometimes when you shift forward and back, you end up bending your knees or sitting down, sitting your hips down. That's not what we're after. We're after shifting of the body weight. If you've got any questions about this topic, leave them in the section below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you've got any suggestions of what you wanna see, let me know, um, and I'll be bringing you another video with a special guest next week. Uh, similar to the extensive tone video I did with Jamie last week. So, um, look, really looking forward to putting that together. Thanks for your time, guys. You can keep recording. Just do, record this guy. What the fuck are you doing? Easy. Cook.